That's, that's all right. We want, to hear, we want to hear more from you. You know, I am curious in, in making the rounds of CEOs and executives, as I know you do, uh, especially given the turmoil of the last few weeks. Are, is their confidence waning at all? What are you hearing about their concerns, not just in Europe, but over here in the U.S. as well, specifically to whether we're going to have a recession? Well, I think uh, there's a huge disconnect between the market and what's actually really happening out there. If you look at Caterpillar's earnings earlier this, this week, you just hear CEOs talking about what results actually are, and there's just a big disconnect. Actually, business is relatively good across the board. It is. Yeah, I think, I think this is really a financial crisis not an economic crisis, at least in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, and but I think you know, pe a big well, people worry that confidence ultimately has been impacted, not just from the ups and downs in the stock market, but from a real crisis that's been going on in Europe, from what happened here, of course, in the debate over the debt ceiling. You're not hearing it in the boardrooms at this point? No. Fear about the future and therefore pulling back? Look, it, it depends where you're sitting, right? There's companies with a lot of cash on the balance sheet. There's companies that are accessing the, uh, the, the debt markets now with historically low rates but also we're seeing their business is pretty good. Sure, there's low growth businesses, but generally I find that the CEOs just don't understand really what's going on in the stock market versus what's going on in their own what business. What they're at least seeing in their own yeah. business. Now, Caterpillar reported